We're back again at Rams Hill with Mr. Luke Arner from Melbourne. Yes, sir. Melbourne's making some news, growing PGA. I mean, let's talk about where do we start the year 2024? Pants. Pants. The pants broke the internet. Oh, it's, you you signed know, Jason. Signed today. Jason. First tournament uh, this century. He killed it. Playing some fantastic golf yeah. and some beautiful pants out there that everybody loves, obviously. So it's been exciting. It was a fun. It was a fun week to, for uh, for golf Twitter. That's for sure. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, yeah. now when it's always been out there, putting the, your name out on the LPGA. Um, obviously, the biggest stage, PGA Tour, making a big statement at uh, the first tournament of the year for the PGA. Jason playing fantastic. You know, like he came out and played really good golf. I yeah. think he's happy. He's healthy. He's been looking for a good year. Mm -hmm. um, Piggyback on that and leveraging that, how do you guys think the Melbourne brand is going to keep growing? Because obviously it's growing, right? Yeah. So what do you guys have plans as you guys see this this momentum growing? I mean, the biggest thing this year for us, especially with Jason, is just like kind of reaching that new customer. Obviously, like with all the new people coming into golf, we have a lot of uh, young customers, new golfers. Yeah. And it's just like reaching, reaching the country club, reaching the average dude at the country club, you know, having them learn about the brand like this week. I mean, just with Jason this week, I'm sure it's just like, you know, hundreds of people that have never heard of the brand that are Googling mob and trying to see what our vibe is, figure out what we're about um, with all the chatter. So it's exciting. Just bring in, you know, bring in awareness of the brand and like what we're about to a new customer this year. That was the thing that I felt like uh, the Malibu man was so, so known, but on like on this subculture, right? On the, you know, in Asia and in California, New York, uh, you know, up in uh, Monterey. But after this whole Twitter, the golf, I mean, now the whole world knows about Malibu. I mean, yeah. On TV, they're talking about it. The broadcasting was talking about it. I mean, like they say, there's not bad yeah, PR, right? Exactly, um, exactly. So it's only gonna get better. Is there any strategy in terms of like, are you guys looking into obviously country clubs, you just mentioned it, but is it a Malvin brand that will fit in something like a Roger Dunn or something like a PGA show? Or is it kind of like, is it that not yet kind of settled? Yeah, I mean, I think we're pushing, uh, we're pushing towards that. You know, Steven, kind of one of his goals now is to just like, the goal of Malvin is to bring people into golf. And so at this point, it's just like, you know, the more people we can reach, the more people we can bring in that can enjoy golf, enjoy the way they dress, enjoy the way they look when they play. So I think, you know, Roger Dunn's and Dick's and all that stuff, it's like, those are great spots just to be able to reach people, bring new people into the game, which is like, at the end of the day, that's, you know, that's our mission. That's our goal with the brand. So that's kind of the big focus for this year is bringing in new customers, you know, reaching new spaces that we can bring more awareness to like, to the game and just people being able to like come out and like love the game, love how they dress, love how they look, feel comfortable doing it. So. Give, us, give us a little insight. Um, have you heard um, what has been uh, Jason's day feedback in terms of like, you know, he knew he was gonna make some noise, but I don't know if to the extent that it happened. Yeah. Uh, what, what's kind of like a little bit of the inside inside going on yeah, at Malibu? It was, it was fun, but it was interesting when that, you know, when he came out, especially that second day in those pants, like everybody was going nuts. And like, some of us were kind of like, oh, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how Jason reacts. Was there and any pushback of him? Or he was just kind of like, give me whatever you got. He loved it. I mean, even after that, it's like Friday morning, he's text, I like wake up and at 5 a.m. I've got like eight texts from Jason and he's just like taking screenshots off our site. Like, bro, send me this. I want to wear this. I want to wear this. Like he's dialed in. He loves it. Like he's, he thinks it's, you know, him and Steven are just like dying all the memes and everything. He loves it all, so he's excited. He's like, anything y'all want to put me in, put me in something crazy. I'm, he's I'm ready. here for it. I love it. He's taking it all in. So, yeah, That's exactly. Awesome. It's exciting. It's now, on on the side of the of the club, the Melbourne Club, obviously first tournament of the year. We'll be back here at Ramsfield. Great turnaround. The course is in fantastic shape. Big shout out. The greens are unbelievable. Um, what does it look like uh, for people that want to kind of get close to the club? How do they get like kind of plugged into all the events and everything like that? Man, it's, you know, Nick has been doing a great job growing Buckets Club and everything. We got an incredible schedule lined up this year. Um, so we got a lot of great tournaments, a lot of great events all across the country. So, you know, check out Buckets Club, IG, check out the site, but just getting dialed in, um, you know, NFT world, getting those NFT, it's your membership card. And we just got, with that comes a lot of good utilities, you know, getting dialed into these events, getting dialed into all the other events we do, stuff with Top Golf collaborations, discounts, all that, there's just, there's limitless stuff that we offer with all that. So it's a awesome. blast. It's a good time. Awesome. Sorry. Look, congrats as always, man. Keep the growth going. There Thank you guys you. have it. Make sure to follow along Malvin. This year is going to be fantastic. It's only getting started. Got to make sure to follow them on social media right here and tune in because there's going to be more to come. Big year. 2024, more fabric. <laughs>